Throughout history, humanity's fascination with mysteries that lie beneath the Earth's surface has given rise to a plethora of legends and myths. The myth of Agartha, a mythical subterranean city hidden deep within the Earth's core, is one of the longest-lasting and most fascinating of these stories. The mythology of Agartha, which has been rooted in ancient Eastern and Tibetan traditions, continues to capture the interest of explorers, philosophers, and travelers. We will explore the beginning, interpretations, and continuing excitement of the mysterious legend of Agartha in this video. Welcome to my channel, Historical Studies, before diving into the mysteries of history there is a small reminder, if you are really interested in this kind of information do not hesitate to, subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon if you don't want to miss out on our new videos. Agartha and the History Behind the Myth A French occultist detailed the fabled inner earth world for the first time in 1889. Agartha, also known by a number of other names with somewhat similar spellings, such as Agarath or Agarty, has gained popularity in esoteric tradition. The tale of Agartha has also, over the years, been widely repurposed for unexpected purposes, similar to many other lost worlds and similar objects of fascination. While some readers may be aware that some German occultists once promoted the legend of Agartha during World War II, the theory actually has a beginning that date back to the 19th century. French philosopher and occultist Joseph Alexander saint yves published a book in 1886 detailing his supposed encounters with the initiates of this hidden kingdom. Most German occultists were magpies who collected ideas and concepts from other traditions to develop the theories. But what exactly is Agartha, what do we know about it, and how has it adapted to modern ideas of culture? Theosophy and the Propagation of Agartha the Agartha story had attention in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, mainly as a result of the Theosophical Society, which Helena Petrovna Blavatsky created. Blavatsky's seminal work, The Secret Doctrine, elaborated on the idea of concealed realms and civilizations beneath the Earth's surface. According to Theosophical teachings, Agartha appeared as a vast, subterranean kingdom populated by highly developed beings. These beings, purportedly possessing profound knowledge and spiritual enlightenment, were believed to guide humanity's evolution from their clandestine abode. Myth, Allegory, and Interpretations Many interpretations of the complicated Agartha mythology have been provided, many of that combines myth and allegory together. This perspective transforms the quest for Agartha into a symbolic pursuit of enlightenment. From a different point of view, however, Agartha is a real metropolis, complete with both old wisdom and cutting-edge technology. In this rendition, portals or secret passages found in remote regions around the world are used to access mythical entrances to Agartha. Theories of Agartha German occultists, including those in the Nazi Thule society, started incorporating several different beliefs and traditions into their theories after the First World War including the myths of Agartha. The members of the Thule Society were drawing heavily from prior occultists, such as Madame Blavatsky and her Theosophical Society, who had drawn on ideas about Shambhala and other Hollow Earth theories in their teachings. In fact, there are stories that the Nazi forces took their occult ideas so seriously that they tried using the Hollow Earth theory to attempt and locate British ships or target V-1 missiles during World War II. These rumors are impossible to verify, but are frequently repeated. Indeed, at least one well-known and oft-reproduced map purporting to show the inner earth and its various tunnel entrances depicts the entire land as called Agartha, land of advanced races, and identifies its capital city as Shambhala. Explorers, Expeditions, and Encounters Agartha's fascinating mystery has inspired a number of adventures and tours, all with the aim of proving the mythology to be true. In the early 20th century, explorers reported finding entrances to underground worlds and frequently described their encounters with unknown beings and mysterious events. Ferdinand Ossendowski was one of these travelers. In his book Beasts, Men, and Gods he described a journey to Mongolia that included contacts with the Agarti, an underground society. Despite these compelling stories, there is still doubt among traditional historians and scientists because there isn't any conclusive evidence to support them. Scientific Scrutiny and Speculation 
From a scientific standpoint, the existence of agartha remains implausible. A liquid outer core surrounds the solid iron and nickel-based inner core of the Earth. These areas are impossible for life forms because of the extreme pressures and temperatures there. The existence of a hidden city within the Earth has not yet been proven by seismic tests or geophysical research. However, the legend of Agartha stands as a testament to humanity's perennial fascination with the enigmatic and uncharted. Agartha's interest is due to its power to inspire amazement and interest in the mysteries buried beneath our feet, whether it is seen as an actual metropolis, a metaphor for inner transformation, or a combination of both. Agartha's legacy continues as a memorial to humanity's never-ending search for unsolved mysteries and tangible evidence of its existence, even though it is difficult to find. The legend of Agartha continues as a fascinating story in the annals of human imagination and lore still explorers and scientists continue exploring the Earth's interior. That brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for being to the end of the video don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comment section.